Hi everyone, my name is Abel Gray Kantoma. I'm from Greatest Design Consult. Today I'm going to be showing you material calculation of M20 grade of concrete. Okay, so um, M20, the M actually means your mix, and then the 20 is actually the characteristic compressive, compressive strength, which is 20 newton per millimeter square. Okay, so now uh, let's assume that uh, this material calculation uh, that we are calculating for uh, this particular slab of length of 12 meter, the breadth is 6 meter, and then the thickness of the slab is actually 0 0.15 meter. Okay, which is this that you can see that we have here. Okay, so um, in order for you to convert your wet volume to your dry volume because when you are doing your concrete mix you are actually getting these materials dried okay so in order for you to convert them into your dry volume all you need to do is to multiply by 1.54 okay so but it usually ranges from 1.54 to 1.57 okay so we are going to adopt the one point five four okay so um when you multiply this length times breadth times the height in order for you to get it in volume if you multiply 12 times 6 times 0 0.15 we're actually going to be getting 10.8 meter cube okay so uh sum of ratio for m20 it's actually 1 plus 1.5 plus 3 which is equals to 5.5 .5. as you know for your m20 is actually one uh, ratio 1.5 ratio 3 so by the time you sum all of this together you are going to be having 5.5 now like i said from the beginning in order for you to convert your wet volume into your dry volume you multiply by this factor which is 1.54 that means you are adding 54 percent okay to it in order to convert this to your dry volume so as you can see uh, we actually multiply the length times the breadth times the height to get 10.8 then when you multiply that 10.8 uh, by this multiplying by this factor of 1.54 you are going to be having 16.632 meter cube that is we have added uh, 54 percent to our wet volume in order for us to get our dry volume okay so uh the step two now we are actually going to calculate for the volume of your cement okay now the formula is actually cement ratio all over total ratio multiplied by one point sorry multiply by our dry volume sorry So it's going to be multiplied by dry dry volume. So if you if you have cement ratio, which is since we are calculating for cement, you know our cement, this is actually cement sand and aggregate okay so the first one here it's your cement so which is going to be one all over the total uh, ratio it's actually 5.5 which we did here in our calculation we got 5.5 so multiplied by the dry volume which we got by adding 54 percent to our wet volume to give us our dry volume okay so by the time you do that math you are actually going to be having 3.024 meter cube. Now, to convert your meter cube to kg, because your cement always comes in uh, 50 kg of your bag. Your bag of cement also always comes in 50 kg. Okay, so what we'll do is to multiply uh, this particular value, which is actually in volume, uh, multiply it by the density of our cement. So if we multiply 3 
point zero two four multiply by the density of uh, cement, which is one four four zero, which is uh, in kilogram per meter cube. By the time you do this math, you are actually going to be have ki having kilogram meter cube all over meter cube. So when these two cancels out, you are actually going to be having your kilogram. It's very, very important for us to take note of our unit. It's very, very important because this is where most people actually get it wrong. Uh, when you are doing some of this calculation, most especially for those who are in school, uh, some may give you this particular. Okay, so um, like I said, it's very, very paramount for you to actually uh, understand, the, understand these conversions understand this unit and then you go along with them as you are proceeding in your calculations because a lot of people uh, some may actually arrive at this place but using meter cube which is very very wrong okay so uh you have to take uh, note of that okay let's go down now to our sun to calculate for sand okay Calculate for sand. Similarly, all you need to do now is to know that uh, your ratio for your sand is 1.5. And then the total ratio which we added is 5.5 multiplied by your dry volume, which we got, which is 16.63 to meter cube. So by the time you do all of this mathematics, if you calculate this, you are going to be having 4.536 meter cube. Okay, so in order for you to convert your son just in case maybe you want to convert to confirm because uh, a lot of people make the mistake of having in a case where you have uh one uh sorry in a case where you have one ratio 1.5 ratio uh three uh some people make the mistake of multiplying it by the size of your cement if you have cement to be one bag your sun will be one and a half bag and then your aggregate will be three bags so it's actually not correct we are going to be confirming that right now so the best way or the right way to get this cal this right is to do this calculation that we are actually doing right now it's not by you just using the rule of thumb adding uh having one and a half bag of sand and then three bags of uh, your aggregates because that's the mistake a lot of us actually make which is actually not correct okay so by the time you convert this you try to convert this by using the density of your sand which is 1850 multiply by this you are actually going to be having this value now in kilogram by the time you have this in kilogram like you know like i said from the beginning your density is kilogram per meter cube so when you do this math meter cube meter cube will cancel out and then what you are actually going to be having is a uh, kilogram so this is now in kilogram if you try to divide this now for example by 50 let's do this divided by 50 and let's see what we are going to be having here now then if you use your calculator to punch that you will discover that you are having one six one six seven point eight three it's three two no it's three two yeah okay so which is actually more than the size you are going to get by multiplying uh 87 which is the size of which is the number of bags of your cement multiplied by 1.5 that means you are adding 50 percent is actually not going to give you up to this you are going to be having around 130 if i'm not mistaken or 131 which is actually not up to 165 that means you are having uh, around 37 bags that is actually not up to this or 36 thereabouts 
okay so uh if we come to our aggregate we are going to be having uh the same way we did for our sand and that of our cement all we need to do now is to divide 3 divided by 5.5 .5, which is the ratio divided by the total ratio multiplied by the dried volume which we are going to be having this value if you multiply this now by the density of your aggregate you are going to be having this value okay so similarly if we try to divide this by 50 you are going to get the results and try to compare it when you add or when you multiply uh 87 bags of cement which we got multiply by three you discover that the value you are actually going to be getting in the long run will not colorate with what uh with what we are having in the aggregate by dividing this value by 50. so for water that is actually required we have water cement ratio which is actually varies from within the range of 0 0.4 to 0 0.6 now uh let's say we are actually going to adopt 0 0.5 as our water cement ratio so if we have 0 0.5 you know a bag of cement is 50 kg when you multiply 0 0.5 by 50 kg we are going to be having 25 kg and one kg is equivalent to one liter now if that is correct so when we have 87 bags of cement multiply by 25 we are going to be having 2175 liters of water that is required to mix this particular concrete if you love what you are seeing make sure you like this video just give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel it's actually 100 percent free click on the bell icon to us for you to get a notification whenever i post videos i post videos like this on the weekly sometimes on a daily just to encourage as many that actually want to have a deeper insight of design okay